Hey, we have another problem on the board from the MIT Integration B 2020. This is problem number 15. We have an integral from pi over 2 to 0, 1 over tan squared to 2020 plus 1 dx. Okay, this is a, I love these problems and it's really interesting. And these can be done really fast once you get used to them, but I just want to go through all the steps slowly so we understand why rather than just uh, putting down an answer. So for my first step, what I want to do, these look a little nicer if we can deal with sine and cosine instead of tangent. So what I'll do is, and of course tangent is just sine over cosine. So if I multiply through by cosine to the square root of 2020, I think this thing will look a little bit nicer. Okay, sorry, I forgot the x in the in initial problem. So now that I've done that, we have this entirely in terms of sine and cosine. Okay, and then you might notice this is what this is in terms of, this looks like the king's principle or the king's rule or the king's property. And what that's gonna allow us to do is we're gonna be able to use uh, substitution and make use of the complementary angle formulas that we have over here to the right. The substitution we wanna make for this is, let me write this down. Okay, so here's the substitution we're gonna use over here on the right. We'll be substituting u equals pi over two minus x and then similarly, we'll have x equals pi over 2 minus u and dx equals minus du. So that'll be what we're going to do for a substitution. And the reason we're doing that is this piece right here, which tells us after we do this, our new function with the substitution, because this here is essentially our u, gives us back the same integral. So we end up with like kind of another copy of the integral that we can work with. Okay, so making this substitution, we'll just update our bounds of integration. So plugging pi over 2 in here, we're gonna have this term's gonna be zero, and then putting a zero in here, we're gonna have pi over two. Then, okay, so then for everywhere we see an x, we need to make a substitution with pi over two minus u. So we're gonna have cosine square root of 20, 20, pi over two minus u. We'll do the same for everything in the numerator, I'm sorry, in the denominator. And then for our dx, you'll notice this is going to be minus. We don't want to forget our minus du. And what we'll do is we'll use this minus sign to flip the bounds of integration back. So now we're going to have put this back to where it was. Let's be back with our original bounds, pi over 2, 0, using that minus sign. And then you'll notice this is where we use the complementary angle formula over here. Is our cosine pi over 2 minus u is going to be a sine u. This one, a sine of pi over 2 is going to be cosine u. And so we can change each of these terms. And what you notice now is we're getting something back. So when we've made, our, made the substitution, this integral is now starting to look very similar to what we had over here. And we can actually change our variable back. We don't have to use u because when we have a definite integral, the variable we can use whatever we want. So I can just change this without any consequences at all. And we'll just change this back to x for convenience. And then from here, what we can do is we can kind of just label this was our, well, this was really our original integral, but it's, and we're going to call that i, but this is the same thing here, and this is the same thing here. So what we can do now, I'll clean up the board, and then we can add two copies of these together and see what happens. So now I've rewritten this, and just, um, I flip, I switched the order of the sine and cosine, it doesn't matter, it's addition, just to make these look more similar. And so let's now add these together and see what we get. So when we have our two copies, now we'll have two i, so double our integral. We don't want to forget that because that'll change the answer. And then at this point, this is the simplification that we really want, is you'll notice that we have just the same thing in the numerator and denominator. So this is just going to cancel, and we actually have the integral of just 1. So then we can just finish this off really quick. Integral of 1 is going to be x from evaluated from pi over 2 to 0. It's just going to be pi over 2. Just have to remember this is two copies of the integral, so we're going to divide by 2, and then that's going to give us our... And then so our final solution to this is going to be just pi over 4. And so earlier, the reason why I said you could solve this in one step is when you have this integral, once you identify that this is um, King's principle and you know the integral is going to be 1, the boundary, it's just you could just go right to the answer and be pi over 2 divided by 2 is pi over 4. Understandably, it's not always going to take you two seconds because you want to validate it and it you might not recognize it right away. So, But ideally, you could do this problem in like five seconds if you can recognize it. So that was MIT Integration B 2020, problem number 15. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.